What's up kids, it's Masa, and today we're talking about the Insta361R with the Rode Wireless Go. So when the Insta361R was released, a lot of the reviews had said that the internal microphone on this was absolutely fantastic. However, the external microphone options were, I don't know, they got a little bit of mixed reviews. And for me, I wanted a camera that I could use for creative and fun stuff as an action camera, as well as like a vlogging tool. So in my past couple of vlogs, you probably saw that I used it as like a follow cam type of thing. And what's been great about that is I'm able to focus a lot more on the photography when I have this camera dedicated to photos and this camera for the vlogging part. And that's been something that's been really freeing for me. To go over the basics real quick, the Insta361R does have built-in microphones and it also has a wind reduction software that's inside the settings as well. However, when it comes to external microphone options, there are essentially two different paths you can take. One is it has AirPod support. I don't have an iPhone, I don't have any Apple products, so I can't test that out. But uh, apparently it sounds like garbage. Bluetooth headphones do not work with this as of current in the beginning of September 2020. I wish it did. The other option is to use a adapter and plug it into the USB-C port that's on this camera and go from there. Now, in order to use an external microphone plugged into this, you need to get a few different items. Uh, the standard cage that comes with it actually doesn't have the accessory mount, the cold shoe mount on it. So you need to get a separate cage. Now I have the cage from Insta360. Uh, there are a couple third party options available as well. This just happened to be easier to get for me here in Japan. The other thing you need is the Insta360 mic adapter. Apparently other USB-C to 3.5 millimeter jack options do not work, I think. I don't know, let's test it real quick. Now, in terms of setting it up and using it, um, it's not really any different from the original cage that it comes with. It fits exactly the same way, especially if you get the one that's from Insta360. And then where the USB-C port is, you just open that up and throw your mic adapter in there and uh, it just connects right in and you're good to go. So on top of this accessory case, there is a cold shoe mount and then you can pretty much put anything on there, whether it be a light or a microphone, anything that can go into a cold shoe bracket. The only thing is that the cold shoe mount, it's only open on one side. So it's only open on the side with the, the screen, not on the other side. So yeah, it's a pretty fairly simple setup. Um, it's still compact and I have absolutely no problems with it. Kind of. Within the Rode Wireless Go, there's three different sound uh, level options that are built in. And if you use the max level that's on there, it's not the biggest deal. However, with a lot of uh, cameras, well, especially with my ADD, having it on max ends up being a little bit too loud. So I usually keep it on the level two. Once you have it on level two though, it is it is kind of low coming out of this camera. But I went out and did a couple tests so we can listen to those and you can kind of see for yourself uh, if the quality works for you. This is an audio test with the Insta361R internal audio. This is an audio check of the Insta361R. There's a little bit of wind and some leaves rustling around. This is an audio test with the Insta361R with the Rode Wireless Go. This is the Insta361R with the Rode Wireless Go with the wind muff attached. This is the Insta361R with the Rode VideoMic Go attached. This is the Insta361R with the Rode VideoMic Go attached. So this is me walking around with the selfie stick and it is pretty windy right now using the Insta361R Twin Edition with the Rode Wireless Go. All right, so now we're testing the Insta361R Twin Edition with just the internal mic, it is still pretty windy. How's it sounding? Is that a pigeon? All right, so now we're testing the audio, walking around on the Insta361R Twin Edition with the Rode Wireless Go with no wind muff. 
Uh, how's the sound? The wind is coming from the right side right now. If I switch over here, the wind is now going into where the mic is. How does it sound? All right, so now in addition to uh, with the wind, I'm riding on my bicycle, and then we're using the Insta360 ONE-R with the Rode Wireless Go with the wind muff, which I think is still attached. While it does come out a little bit low from the one R, it's actually not that bad. You can raise up the decibels on there, bring it up to a point where it's normalized with all your other, with the other, other footage. Bring it up to a level where it's normalized with your other footage and then play with some of the audio settings and you can get it to a point where it's pretty stable. This is the Insta360 One R with the Rode Wireless Go with the wind muff attached. So this is me walking around with the selfie stick and it is pretty windy right now using the Insta360 One R Twin Edition with the Rode Wireless Go. I'm riding on my bicycle and then we're using the Insta360 One R with the Rode Wireless Go with the wind muff, which I think is still attached. It's a little bit more work than maybe some of you would like, but I don't see it as a huge deal. In almost all of my recent videos, I'm using the Rode Wireless Go and in the two vlogs prior to this one, there's audio coming out of here with the mic set up and it's cleaned up. I don't know, what do you guys think? Pros of using the Wireless Go with this camera. One, it keeps it super compact. It's nice to be able to have a such a small setup where I can bring it pretty much in my pocket or carry it around anywhere with me. Two, because of the... <sighs> nature of the selfie stick, uh, once you get this out, it gets pretty far. And as most of you probably know, using shotgun mics or any of the uh, on camera mics, the farther where you are, the worse the quality is. And with a wireless mic like this, it really doesn't matter how far you are from the camera itself, as long as you are pretty close to the transmitter where the actual mic is. Three, the other thing with this selfie stick is that when you're sliding it around, it makes this like terrible noise. And once you have the camera on here, all of the noises and of you touching this and scratching it and everything, it just creeps right through everything into the mic here and it sounds so miserable. This keeps everything separate and it just sounds so much cleaner. So using this kind of small wireless mic setup ends up making this really, really versatile for a bunch of different needs. Now, doesn't mean there are aren't cons though and uh there's there's a couple but they're it's not enough to detract me from using it the way i do so the downside of using pretty much any mic on this camera is one you have to open the side port and what that ends up doing is it makes it so that it's not waterproof anymore if it does start raining or if you drop it in water you're kind of screwed because you're opening one of the seals two one of the things that actually does bother me about this is the mic port is kind of far away from where the accessory mount is. And with the Rode Wireless Go, the input for the mic jack ends up becoming on the other side. So it ends up looking really weird and the wire goes everywhere. And yeah, because it's a 360 camera, it sees that wire. And so you lose a lot of the top side angles. If you're trying to use it as a vlog and you're looking more at a downward angle from the lens, not really a big issue but if you want to show something that's out from it it is going to get in your way and this is like a 2.5 but yeah only small mics are going to work same reason if you have this giant thing if you have this giant thing attached it just looks like a boom pull and yeah it just shows up in all of your footage it just it, 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 don't, it don't look good. Overall, it's not too bad. The audio options on this is pretty solid. Uh, even when using the camera just by itself without any mic plugged in, as long as it's not windy, this sounds fantastic. This is an audio test with the Insta360 ONE R internal audio. And it's something that I'm definitely wanting to use more. Again, it's such a small camera. It's so much fun to use. 
I find myself taking this pretty much everywhere where I might leave my DSLR because it's so big and bulky and I might take photos with my phone, but this, again, the footprint is so small, might as well just carry it around with you. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope that answers any questions people had about the audio uh, using an external mic with the Insta360 ONE R. I think most people use this as an action camera and don't really care about the sound, but it is a great vlogging tool, I think, and might as well use it if you have it. But yeah, if anyone has any comments, questions, qualms, quips, whatever, leave them in the comments below and we'll, we'll try to help each other out. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, yeah, if you liked the video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and do all the other YouTube things, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Peace!